The following video features scenes of Guide Dogs for the Blind graduate Elizabeth Herdman and her black lab guide dog Jameson. Elizabeth is shown running on a path, walking around her neighborhood with Jameson, and spending time at home. Throughout the video, Elizabeth participates in on-camera interviews. The video ends on a scene of Elizabeth walking with Jameson at a local park. I would say that my greatest passion is running. There's a huge freedom in getting out on the open road and just continuing without any thought of having to finish. To be moving and to be in rhythm with the universe and with the world and with nature and with your legs and with your mind, it's a very complete and very natural and comforting feeling. And as I've lost my vision, which has been emotional and stressful and difficult, finding that kind of nice, safe haven, which is your body in motion, has been incredibly important. When I turned 59, I decided that I would run 59 kilometers. I gathered a number of my friends and they, they assembled at various points around the city. My first friend that I ran with was Jameson, my guide dog. He took me my first two miles. That was a very significant and an important contribution to my running history. I usually don't run with him because he's not a running dog, he's my guide dog. But he did an incredibly fantastic job in getting me started. While you're losing your sight, you get so darn tired because you're always learning and you're always having to be like aware and you have to be alert and you have to be so focused all the time. When I think about that, I always think of my guide dog, Jameson, because when he's out being my eyes for me, that's certainly something that he's doing. He's being focused and he's being alert and he has to be on like 100% of the time to keep me safe. And you know, that really helps doing that my dog is sharing some of my feelings and it, 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 in that sense, I'm not the only one who has to be really on all the time. You can't replace sight. It works the easiest and the fastest, but Jameson has opened up the world for me in so many wonderful ways. My dog has brought so much joy and freedom and happiness. He has allowed me to continue being the person that I always was. And he's allowed me to grow as a person, as opposed to just staying inside and being stuck and being afraid to move around. He cruises me along. He takes me through the crowds unerringly. And not only that, but people warm to him. If you can't see, then you sometimes don't even know parts of the world are there. And my guide dog is like a magnet. He brings the world to me in many ways. I feel so incredibly privileged and lucky, incredibly lucky to have found guide dogs for the blind. I can't imagine that there is any other place quite like it. Whenever I've had need for the smallest bit of advice. All I have to do is pick up the phone and dial in to the help center. And I get responsive, kind, unrushed help that always makes me feel like I'm the most important thing. My guide is the most important thing. Their impact and their helping hand has been so significant in my, in my happiness and my personal development. Our lives, I guess, are always somewhat aspirational on what we would like to do. Jameson is certainly part of the ability to fulfill these dreams and aspirations. We're so close and our relationship, it's so unique. I think a piece of music or a painting or something would describe it so much better than words. He's my freedom key. It's spectacular having a guide dog.
For more information, please visit gdbinternational.ca.